Um, good morning to everybody. It's my pleasure to uh, make a short introduction into uh, the next topic. Uh, it's about uh, system thinking and complex systems in general. Um, first of all, I would like to <coughs> make a note to our speakers. Um, first of all, Professor Dr. Josip Stepanic from the University of Zagreb. Uh, here, uh, he is with us, and uh, I'm very happy uh, that he come. Uh, he is going to talk about uh, introduction to system science with applications. Uh, after his lecture, um, Dr. Sili Riha from uh, Prague is going to talk about cities as living organisms. Uh, he's going to make uh, comparison, like uh, uh, an anal analogy between uh, urban cities and uh, biological systems. And uh, in the end, this is in the afternoon, and tomorrow, uh, in the morning, uh, Dr. Andreas Korn here is going to talk about the Blue Ocean Strategy. So the idea is to link uh, the complex system theory with the economy, uh, as the topic of the summer school is, uh, it's from idea to innovation. And uh, we would like to make light to uh, complex systems and their role in this process from idea to innovation. Um, before we start with this general introduction, I would just like to make a note to the complex systems in, in general. Uh, when we talk about, uh, about complex systems, we think about uh, systems with many parts, with many links and relationships between those parts. Just to make some examples, like uh, cell in biological systems, uh, you can see how many particles, how many parts of the system we have and how many processes are going on in such a cell. Uh, you can imagine how many processes uh, are important for our life, for our functioning, and the cell, the thing the cell is just one example of such uh, systems. You have another examples in <coughs> technical systems, you have examples in uh, ecology, in ecolo ecological systems where the relationship between living organisms and their environment is very important. You have a lot of processes going on in such systems. You have uh, systems in nature, uh, physics is dealing with uh, them, such as water cycle, for example, when it's raining, when it's sunny, we just uh, think about uh, that what we see, but uh, what's going on is much more complex. Um, many times people talk about physics and people think that the physics is uh, very difficult because uh, it's dealing with complex systems and if you would like to predict a rocket to, uh, uh, when you launch a rocket to the moon, you have to calculate a lot of things and you think physics is really very complicated. Physics is really dealing with complex systems but on the other hand, you have to know that in physics we are able to calculate, we are able to predict uh, a lot of things. Um, the systems are complex, but on the other hand, it's uh, still possible to make quantitative predictions. I would like to stress once again, in physics you are able to calculate things, it's nice. How nice it would be to calculate things in other systems. You can imagine, for example, for my cells. If I would come to my physician, to my doctor, and I would say I have such uh, data, uh, they would measure, I don't know, my substances in my blood or my temperature and other things, and they would calculate what's going on with me. That would be great, you can imagine. Or on the other hand, in economy, for example, it would be also fantastic it, if it would be possible to put all the data into a computer and to get some predictions, for example, what the price of gold or other, let's say, uh, shares or something else 
uh, would be in the future. And that's the problem, and that's why we are dealing with complex systems. For example, social systems, how complex they are, how difficult it is to predict, actually impossible to calculate some things, what's going on in uh, social systems, starting from family to uh, big cities and uh, other systems uh, in uh, society. Of course, also in the economy, it's uh, really very difficult to predict uh, uh, what's going on in such systems and what uh, we can uh, expect in the future. Um, maybe it's a good example of analogies. Uh, I'm just uh, showing you one example of such uh, theories uh, which are very famous uh, at present. It's just uh, one new book uh, published this year from uh, BN and Zane, uh, Design in Nature. They make a lot of analogies between different processes. For example, if you see the tree and you see uh, the path of electrons in the air, for example, uh, the structure is very similar. Just one example from this book. If you see, for example, the human lung, and on the other side, you see delta of uh, the linear river in uh, Siberia. The structure of these two things are actually physiologically identical. Uh, identical in that sense that you have common dynamical rules behind that. It's a maximal flow being uh, uh, be able to pass through this structure. So. Um, these people think about that in that way that they say there is no designer in nature. Actually, the physical rules, the common dynamical rules, are actually uh, important for uh, structures uh, which uh, are constructed. Also, in case, for example, of uh, uh, thermites uh, and their houses and uh, Wikipedia, for example, the structure is completely analogous, it's completely the same from the structure uh, being observed. Uh, there are no differences. There are the common dynamical rules behind that. And uh, I'm very happy to have uh, uh, our next colleague today also with us, uh, who is going to talk about analogies between cities and living organisms. And in the end of uh, this day, in the afternoon, and tomorrow in the morning, as I already uh, mentioned, um, Andreas uh, Kornherr is going to talk about economical systems, and uh, he will talk about the blue ocean strategy. It's actually um, another theory uh, which is uh, completely different from uh, uh, the red ocean. What does it mean, red ocean? Uh, the red ocean is the bloody ocean, actually, with a lot of uh, sharks, uh, a lot of fights, and that's why it's red. And he's going to talk about much uh, better strategy is the blue ocean strategy. Uh, but uh, first of all, of course, I wouldn't like to be too long. Um, I would uh, ask my colleague Dr. Stepanich to uh, make the introduction and his lecture uh, about uh, the systems.